This small cylinder is called a drop sonde, or sond for short. And what a story it tells. It launches from an aircraft and falls through the air, gathering data about the atmosphere as it descends. It's a workhorse of hurricane forecasting, dropping out of Hurricane Hunter airplanes right into a raging storm. Drop sons have a huge impact on understanding hurricanes and um, predicting hurricanes. With support from the National Science Foundation, electrical engineer Terry Hoke and colleagues at NCAR, the National Center for Atmospheric Research, have been designing, building, and improving drop sonde technology for more than 30 years for a wide range of applications. This is the drop sonde that the NSF aircraft use for our scientific research purposes, and it's also extensively used by the hurricane research uh, people. Compared to earlier models, today's SONs are lighter weight, relatively inexpensive, and loaded with sensors. And we actually have a temperature and humidity sensors down here at the bottom, and then we also have a parachute here at the um, top end of it. As it falls, the drop sonde checks the pulse of its surroundings two times a second, including pressure, temperature, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. We're just taking these vertical slices of the atmosphere constantly as the sun falls. And you can see how the winds are in a circular pattern going around the hurricane. So the, the center of the hurricane is going to be in here. And they use this data along with other data to classify the hurricane. Hoke and his team custom fit aircraft with sond launchers, including this one for helium filled balloons. In 2010, American and French researchers deployed balloons over Antarctica that dropped 600 sons to study atmospheric conditions and the shifting ozone layer over a four-month period. That has mapped the Antarctic atmosphere like it's never been done before. As the sun is falling, we're seeing every single little measurement uh, show up immediately on the computer screen. Such inside information is helping scientists learn more about the atmospheric conditions that spawn hurricanes. Hoke expects this will help forecasters make earlier and more precise predictions, giving people in the path of a killer storm more time to evacuate out of harm's way. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.